Hey everybody, this is another Five Minutes with Ben. I'm Ben. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Hopefully a nice comment, but we accept comments that aren't nice also. So uh, I wanted to show a game with two super GMs that ended abruptly, because I like that, you know, bam, gotcha. And I found a game between Wesley So and Fabiano Caruana that was played in the Bucharest Super Blitz tournament in 2019, and I actually remember this game. Uh, Wesley has white. As you all know, Wesley's one of the players who's fighting for a candidate spot. It looks like like Wesley and Gukesh and Dominguez and Geary, uh, four of those players will get one or two spots. So we'll, we'll see uh, at the end of the year who has what. Um, okay, so I like this game because white plays an early B3. So Wesley plays knight f3, Fabiano plays d5, white plays e3, which is pretty popular the last 10 years, knight f6, c4, e6, not too exciting, knight c3, bishop e7. It doesn't look like it's going to be an exciting game, but it will. Bishop b3, uh, Wesley's going to fianchetto his bishop, castles, bishop b2, c5, Fabi grabs the center, Fabiano wants to play d4, so Wesley takes. Um, I would probably take with the pawn here if I was black, but Fabi took with the knight, which is also good. Now, in this position, something very strange happened. Wesley so forgot the castling rules, and he tried to castle with his queen. So he played queen b1, and when he picked up his rook to go to c1, it didn't work. And then... Fabiano's like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, oh, that's my queen. So he had to play queen b1. That's terrible. Okay, knight c6. And now Wesley decided to put it in h because that's the way they play chess now. h4. White plays for a kingside attack. Will he be successful? b6. Fabi wants to fianchetto his bishop since it's blocked by the e-pawn. Bishop b5 attacking the knight. Queen c7, defending. Wesley puts it in h again, h5. And Fabiano doesn't want to see h6 on the board, so he plays h6 himself. And now Wesley again forgot about castling rules. I don't know why he does that. He thought he could castle with his queen, that in this position he thought he already castled because he tried to castle with his queen, so he thought he couldn't castle kingside. So he played rook h3. Unbelievable. Okay, he's doing a rook lift. He wants to get this rook over to the g line. Okay, Fabi played bishop d7, developing his last piece. Rook g3. And now, no matter how many times I tell Fabi, he never listens to me. Some people think never listening to me is a good plan. And he never played f6, the losing move. Now, obviously, Fabi was worried about the bishop here and the rook here, he didn't want any like knight takes knight and rook takes g7 coming. So he played the move f6. And then you will know that Wesley So always thanks the Lord after the game when he plays rook takes g7 check. Okay, so king takes g7. Obviously, the queen goes to g6. King h8. White always repeats. Queen takes h6. Queen g6. And the players drew by reputation. No, I'm kidding. Instead of drawing by repetition with queen h6, queen g6, Wesley decided to win in one move. And Wesley played bishop d3, always retreat with the very simple threat of queen h7 mate. And the only way I see to stop queen h7 mate, well, actually, you could play rook f7 and hang your rook, and then you can't stop queen h7 mate. I forgot about that. Is black could play f5, blocking the bishop and the queen battery, but white plays knight takes knight, discovered check, and wins the queen and mates, whichever is funnier. So after bishop d3, Fabiano resigned, and Wesley won a blitz game against Fabiano in 18 moves by sacking a rook and checkmating him. Who says you need to castle? I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. This has been another five minutes with Ben. Five, I'm Ben, and I'll see you next time. Bye.